this is a dollar bill, this is a sharpie. Watch what happens. If I take the bill, I can actually find the sweet spot and plunge that sharpie straight through the bill like this. But watch. Keep your eyes fixed on the bill and the sharpie at the same time. If I just slowly remove the sharpie just like this, that bill is fully restored. If you're here, you could genuinely feel there's no hole. You can examine it. And if you want to learn how to do that yourself at home with everything you have right now, then just keep watching the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Tutorial Tuesday. My name is Lloyd Barnes. Today I'm going to teach you how to take a borrowed dollar bill, take a sharpie, you can borrow this too if somebody has one, melt it through the dollar bill, visually and slowly take it back out of that bill, hand the bill back, hand the sharpie back, everything can be examined, everything can be kept, and you're about to learn how to make this in probably about a minute. It's that easy to do. So as always, welcome back to the family. Hello to any new subscribers. If you would like to win the gimmick that we make in today's video, then all you have to do is simply subscribe to the channel and comment anything you like down below. And by next Tuesday, I'll pick a winner from somewhere in the world and ship this to you completely for free. So remember, all you need to do, hit that subscribe button. I try to twirl that like a cool, I'm not cool enough to twirl a pen. Hit that subscribe button and comment something down below. So like I said, Super easy to make. Let me show you the gimmick. I'm not even going to walk you through how I make it. I'm just going to show you what the gimmick is because you can literally do this in probably less than a minute if you timed yourself anyway and you were trying to race. So let's just dive straight into the tutorial. This is the method. I've secretly prepared a bill that I'm going to switch in and out during performance. But the way this is routined is that it will never feel like you're switching the bill and you don't have to worry about being caught because the switches are so easy. So this is the gimmick bill and I'll show you how it works. You can make this up in about 60 seconds. So the very first thing I did was to cut a hole out of a dollar bill. Now you don't have to use this area. I'm using this so I can tell you the difference between this bill and the switched bill. So you could use this circle over here, you could use a different part of the bill, anything you like. But I cut out a circle the same size as a sharpie here. And then I took another dollar bill and I cut out this part of the bill. So if you can see, this is a full circle that I cut out from the back of the bill, which is great camouflage. Then what I did was with the cutout E piece, I stuck it on here over the top of the other insignia. And then I added some double stick tape between the two pieces so that I can just stick one half of this down. Now the reason I stuck this piece on is so that it will lock in place. When this comes through, if I push from the back, this little E insignia will lock in place and it means when you do this it actually does not feel like it's being cut out it's so smooth they can genuinely rub their fingers over it and they don't it doesn't feel like it's cut out and the other thing is now look how nice that camouflage looks you can't see a hole because they're looking for a tiny hole but really the camouflage is all over here they're just looking in the wrong place so that's the gimmick really easy to do let me show you how to perform now remember i'm using the insignias this one has an e this regular bill has an a so you can follow along easily at home but here's what's going to happen so before you begin you're going to take your gimmick bill fold it in half so the position where you're going to go through the sharpie is on the outside and place it into your pocket so you can place it in your back pocket your side pocket for the sake of this video, I'm going to place it into my hoodie pocket. And also in my hoodie pocket, I'll keep my Sharpie. But of course, you want to put this in your side or back pocket, whatever you feel comfortable. So when you start, borrow a dollar bill. And then you say, I also need a Sharpie. Does anybody have a Sharpie? Whether they say yes or no, because you'd be surprised at how many people do carry Sharpies. I start patting as if I'm looking for one. So I start patting my pockets with my left hand. Then my right hand also starts to do this. I'm going to reach to my pocket and come out empty. And I'm going to reach into my pocket here. And I'm going to grab 
the gimmick bill and the sharpie and drop this one at the same time. This is the real bill, you can see the A on it. I'm looking around, I go in my pocket, I just drop that off and pull these two out. It looks like I've just pulled the sharpie out with the bill from my pocket, okay? So at speed, it looks like this. Does anybody have a bill? Thank you very much. Does anybody have a, uh, a sharpie anywhere? No, anyone? Okay, let me see. Oh, I got one here. Okay, perfect, we'll use this. Now in that action, I've switched the bill. Now, of course, this is on camera. There's nobody here to actually recreate the real live atmosphere, but it's just so organic that I just reach into my pocket. They see a bill go in and out, but with the Sharpie, the focus is here. Now I'd say normally I'd have you sign a bill, but actually that's illegal. It's illegal to deface a, a bill because it's a government issued piece of currency. It's also illegal to, to break a bill or damage it in any way, but watch what I can do. So that's the excuse for bringing the Sharpie out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the gimmick with my thumb and index finger pinching where the double stick tape is and I'm gonna it's gonna be positioned between my fingers so that when I push through in a moment the flap can open between my fingers like this but as I'm coming out I don't really need to overshow this because they think it's their bill but I can come around and show I get it into the right position and then I take the sharpie and just plunge it through okay really really easy Remember, you can sort of flash like this as well and to the side, but you just don't want to expose that. Now I'm going to bring it back out. As I bring it back out, I'm going to reposition my middle finger here. So as I'm slowly bringing this out, reposition my middle finger right there because I'm going to push up with some force to lock the gimmick in place, the little hatch in place. And what I do is I just use my sort of this hand as a bit of cover so they don't see this. So as I'm coming up, I sort of aim this at their face so they can see it nice and clearly. And at the last moment, I just cover, or you can cover with your thumb, literally just bring, keep your thumb there as I pop it into place and I rub, okay? Now this is why this routine is so nice. Because this is locked into place now, I can flash it front and back, okay? But before I switch it, I'm gonna say, look, feel and they are going to feel right here and the fact that they are touching this and looking at it with their own two eyes that is then proving to them that there's no hole if it, if i was just to be take this out and then try and switch it would be suspicious but the fact that i'm going to lean over and my finger is going to be right underneath the insignia so there's something there's some pressure to lean on and say look feel feel there's no hole and they can touch and feel there's no hole now they don't need any more convincing because they can see it and feel it like any more than they're not going to if they don't believe that they're not going to believe anything right they can see it and actually feel it so they can see it they can feel it and then you say look that the bill's regular so you can touch and feel it check out the sharpie hand them the sharpie and as you do this you're going to do a sort of for me it's just like a slightly funny joke you say in fact you can keep the sharpie i'll keep the dollar bill and you just go into your pocket I'd leave it there and come out and you say, I'll keep the dollar bill and wait for somebody to be like, uh, actually that's my dollar bill, uh, or, or, or any other like sort of thing that fits your personality. But he goes into your pocket and then he said, I'll keep the dollar bill. You can keep the Sharpie and then wait for the moment to pass and let them laugh. You don't need to rush. You don't need to do a really quick in and out switch. Uh, and then, and then say, I'm just kidding. You can keep, you can take your money back and then bring out the regular and gimmick bill. And that's really it. Now, if you don't want to do the sort of like joke that you're going to pretend to steal their money, you can basically do the reverse of the switch too, which is this is the gimmick bill. You finish. They have felt it. They have touched it. That's one. That's, they say, touch this, feel this. It's, it's regular. Now check out the Sharpie. Thank you very much for watching. Put everything away. Put the Sharpie away into your pocket. So it's like you're going to place the Sharpie away and then you're going to switch in the regular bill back. So this is the normal bill, you can tell by the A on the insignia, and hand this out, just like this. And then that's it, you, you're left completely clean at this point because they've examined everything. And the reason why this switch works is because they can feel the bill the moment after the effect happens. So they can see it go through, they see it come out, and before it's switched, they get that 
physical evidence. And if they didn't have that, this wouldn't work as well. But the fact that they can touch it and see it, there's really not much more they need to be convinced. And then at the end, they get the memory of keeping their bill. So when they think back about it later on, they seen it up close, nothing was switched because they felt and touched it straight after the effect and they have the bill on them to check as proof later on. But that's it, that's the entire effect. I will tell you one more quick tip though. The bonus tip is this, and this is one that the more seasoned performers of you out there will understand more than the beginners, but once you put these sort of things out there into the ether, they cost you nothing, but you can get a lot of money from it. So the little tip is this. Once you've done the effect, you can, as an afterthought, tell, tell the spectator, you, you know what, just go ahead and sign the bill, right? This is literally ridiculous. So after you've done the trick, right? So after the effect's happened, you can say, you can, for example, you can say, you know what, check the Sharpie's real. Go ahead, sign your name on the bill. So they, they're going to sign the bill after the trick just to like sort of clarify that the Sharpie is real. You will be so surprised just how many people will falsely remember that the bill was signed the entire time. Wade Houchin always famously says that he, he has two tricks. One's called a single needle where he pulls a, he swallows a needle and a thread and he pulls the thread out and the needle is now threaded on, on the needle. He also has another completely different trick where he takes thread, swallows it and pulls just the thread out of his eye. The amount of spectators that remember him completely doing a different trick, which is to take the thread and the needle, swallow them, and then pull the thread with a threaded needle out of his eye, he says is is crazy. And I completely believe it. The amount of times that I do magic tricks and people just completely forget the entire which way round that it happened, including some pretty big details, just like Wayne Houchin talks about. This is one of those things. So after you've done the effect, they can feel the bill, they can examine the bill. You say, you know what, it's a real Sharpie. Go ahead, take the lid off, sign the bill after you've done the switch. Go ahead, sign the bill, see the ink works, put the cap back on. Now they keep the bill. You would be so shocked at just how many people, if you were to say, you know what, I'm filming this for you know uh, YouTube, or, or, or go ahead, tell your friends what happened. They'll say, this is my bill, my signed bill. He took the Sharpie, he melted it through the bill, took it out, there's no holes, nothing nothing wrong with it, it's still signed, I have no idea how he did it, you would, you would, it would, it would completely shock you, but the other thing is this, if they don't remember that, if they, if they, if they clearly remember that it was not signed during the trick, it makes no difference, it makes completely no difference, because all they did was sign the bill to prove that the pen worked, so to them, they still seen a really good piece of magic that they can't explain, and they now have their signature on the bill, which means nothing, but the interesting thing is that, is that, they will know forever that was the bill that you did the trick with, even if they don't confuse the memory. So if you follow me and you just try it, you'll be stunned at what results you get. And lastly, just a really quick one. Thank you all so much for the birthday love. I can't begin to explain how much it means to me. You know this year I'm a year sober from alcohol. You know that I'm a year older, uh, but also I'm a lot healthier mentally and physically. I've lost a lot of weight. Uh, I'm constantly trying to get better. And one, another thing that I'm doing now is that I checked and I, on average, I spend three hours a day on my phone uh, every week. And that counts up to 45 days per year. And the bulk of that time, it's just doom scrolling on social media. So I've deleted my social media from my phone. I won't be posting or checking them ever again. I'll be keeping my business pages open, like my fan pages open to share these YouTube videos. Obviously the YouTube channel is not going anywhere, but for all intents and purposes, don't bother trying to contact me through any social media ever because those inboxes are, for all intents and purposes, dead. So if you really need me urgently or it's very important, then you can, you can email me at admin at lloydbarnes.co.uk and if it is important, I will get back to you. But I just need to spend more time making connections, making more magic, being real and present and not just scrolling through social media. So as much as I appreciate all of you that reach out to me 24-7, uh, I just, I'm, the, those, those inboxes are dead. The, if you message them, you won't get responses. I'm really sorry, but if you do need me urgently, then you can always email me at admin at lloydbarnes.co.uk. So I'll be back on Thursday for another episode of Fooler, and I'll be back every Tuesday for another Tutorial Tuesday, and I'll be back on Sunday for another Sunday Service Live Special. See you all very soon. Peace. <laughs>